let's get over to Frankfurt. Thomas Romig is our fund manager at Union Investment there. Uh, Thomas, thanks so very much indeed for joining us. So more of the same. I mean, we've had a, a DAX up 15% if you strip out currency effects, FTSE up 20% on a year-to-date basis. Do we get more of this? Yes, uh, Union Investment expo expects more of this, so we are quite positive on equities, especially on the European equities for 2010. Okay, what are going to be the key drivers then within these markets? Uh, we expect, I didn't hear the question. Thomas, but, I'll, repeat uh, it. I'll, repeat, expect... I'll repeat it for you. Which are the main elements which are going to be driving these markets higher? Yes, uh, the markets will be driven higher by uh, low interest rates, so we don't expect any interest rate hikes by the central banks in the first two uh, quarters of the year. We see a little bit more surprise uh, on economic growth, so it will broaden even further in 2010. And especially we will expect uh, higher margins for the companies as they had a very good look on the uh, cost base. And if the sales numbers will rise only in uh, uh, small uh, numbers, there will be major effects on the margins and on the er earnings for stocks. Right. What about, if we have a look at these uh, particular in individual stocks, what about valuations? Are they currently undervalued, as some are saying? Some are saying that they're overvalued. Um, on our numbers, we whether say that we are in a situation of undervaluation or overvaluation. Uh, currently, we see the market as it is uh, quietly fair priced. So um, there were some discussions, I think, in the market that we had a, a liquidity-driven rally. I think that might be uh, also an effect for 2010, but it was certainly not a major effect in 2009. So uh, we don't see any problems with the valuations. Uh, we see them at a PE ratio in 2010 for Europe uh, around 12 and for the US around 14. So that shouldn't be any problem. Uh, are we going to see takeovers, mergers, that sort of thing helping to drive these equities higher too? Definitely, definitely. Uh, as we have uh, or we expect um, uh, area of low interest rates, especially for the first uh, half of 2010. Uh, I think a lot of companies or uh, strategically thinking investors will um, think about M&A transactions and uh, I think that will be one of uh, the main news drivers of the equity markets in 2010. What about risk? How important is that going to play out? Risk is uh, also a thing you have to look uh, at. The big risk for us is uh, coming from the uh, central banks and from the government. So uh, we have to look how they will uh, get their exit out of the politics of low interest or out of the politics of uh, high fiscal spending. So that will be crucial for the year 2000, how these two uh, parts of our economic uh, system will uh, will act in 2010. I'm assuming it's not going to be just a uh, broad base. What are the interesting uh, sectors that you're looking at in 2010? As we are very positive on economic growth and we will see some surprises there, uh, we are quite uh, positive for the sectors of uh, steel materials, which were one of the best performing sectors in 2009. And we also see um, good uh, chances for industrials. Thomas, uh, have a great holiday if you are having one. Tom, Thomas Romick there from Union Investment.